is ready for a story. Maybe you're tired of homeschooling and you are ready for some fun, something that's different than work. So I have a book called Oliver. Do, do, do. Cute little Oliver. Wonder if that's the Elefante. Let's see. Some elephants came across the ocean on a ship. They were going to work in the circus. And one elephant's name was Oliver. Maybe you can see it. When they landed, the circus man counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten elephants. And one makes eleven, said Oliver. There must be a mistake. I ordered only ten elephants, said the circus man. We don't need eleven. take up much room, said Oliver. Elephants always do, said the circus man. Goodbye, Oliver, said the other elephants. Take good care of yourself. <clears throat> Poor Oliver. Oliver was all alone. He didn't know where to go. A little mouse came along. Why don't you try the zoo? said the mouse. You look like the type they use there. Thanks, said Oliver. I'll go at once. Taxi, said Oliver. What you need is a moving van, said the taxi man, and he did not stop. Oliver followed the cars. The drivers held out their hands when they made a turn. When Oliver made a turn, he held out his trunk. He saw a woman weighing herself. My goodness, I'm as heavy as an elephant, she said. Oliver got on the scale. I'm as healthy as an elephant, too, he said. At last, Oliver reached the zoo. Who's in charge here, he asked. Oh, well, I say I am, said the man. Do you need an elephant, asked Oliver. I'm sorry, not right now, said the zoo man. Thanks anyway, Oliver said and walked away. A man was selling peanuts. May I help you sell them? asked Oliver. Would you sell them or uh, eat them? asked the man. Eat them, said Oliver. The man gave him some peanuts for being honest. Oh, that's funny. Would you help me sell the peanuts or eat them? Eat them, he said. Well, at least he is honest. Oliver left the zoo. He walked down the street. Would anyone like to have me for a pet? He asked. I already have a parakeet, said one man. I already have a goldfish, said another person. I have a cat, said someone else. I have a duck, said someone else. I really like a dog for a pet, said a lady. Poor Oliver. I can pretend I'm a dog, said Oliver. All right, she said. 
Oliver and the lady went for a walk. Bow wow, bow wow, said Oliver. <laughs> Does that look like a dog to you? No. What a nice dog, said the people. That's the biggest dog I ever saw. I'm hungry, said Oliver. Let's go home. Don't you have any hay, he asked. No, but I have a nice tasty bone, said the lady. That's not what elephants eat though, they want hay. Elephants need hay, Oliver said. I guess I can't be your dog after all, but thank you and goodbye. Goodbye, said the lady. Oliver walked and walked. Some people were riding horses and Oliver watched. <coughs> Horses get hay. I wish I were a horse, said Oliver. Do you need a horse? asked Oliver. Ah, uh, say, you look like an elephant, but I'll ride you, said a man. <clears throat> At least he'll get some hay, huh? The man sat on Oliver's back. Giddy up, he said. The horses jumped over fences. Oliver could not jump over the fence. I guess I'm not a horse, he said. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, said the man. Oliver passed a playground. Mm, may I play? He asked. Sure. You may swing with us, said the children. Uh-oh. That's not a good idea, is it? Is this the way? asked Oliver. Uh, not quite, said the children, but it'll do. How does this work? asked Oliver. It's a seesaw. We will get on the other side, said the children. How'd you like Oliver pushing you on a swing? Look at how high they're going. That would be nuts to have an elephant pick up the swing set as a whole. I don't know if this seesaw is going to work with an elephant on the other side, even if all the kids do get on. Well, what happens now, asked Oliver. The children rushed for the slide. They couldn't all get on at once. Look at Oliver on the seesaw. It's not even moving. He's like, well, what happens next? But all the kids are piled on and it won't even move. Would you say Oliver weighs more? Yes, for sure. He weighs way more. <clears throat> Oliver helped out, though. It was time to rest. The children talked about what they wanted to be when they grew up. He's helping them be a slide. He's an elephant slide. How would you like to ride on a slide made of an elephant? <gasps> that would be so cool. I want to be a policeman, said Tommy. I want to be a nurse, said Mary. I want to be a cowboy, said Ben. I always wanted to work in the circus, said Oliver. I wanted to be a dancing elephant. He started to dance for the children. Everyone stopped to watch. They didn't see the circus parade was coming. They were all watching Oliver. They didn't even see the acrobats or the jugglers. They didn't see the clowns. Are they looking at me? Asked the lion tamer. No, said the lion. 
You're watching some elephant dancing. <laughs> Look at the guy's head in the lion's mouth. And he's asking if they're watching him. And the lion's like, no, they're watching some elephant who's dancing for them. The kids don't even know there's a circus parade going by, do they? What's going on over here, said the circus owner. And he ran over to look. That's the best dancing elephant I've ever seen, he said. cried the other elephants. Oliver, said the circus man, I made a big mistake. We do need you. Will you join the circus? I'd love to, said Oliver. Hooray, cried the children. You've got your wish. Will you remember us, asked the children. Of course, said Oliver. An elephant never forgets. And even a rhinoceros would remember the fun we had. Did you like that book, Oliver? You're getting to where you can read all of these kinds of books. This book is called an I Can Read book. And if you ever see one that says, I can read, it's your level. You can read it easily. You can read every word in these. Acrobat might trip you up, but you could just try your best to sound it out and skip it if you wanted. But I know you can read some of these and you can pass a lot of time. If you ever get bored, if you say, I'm bored, I'm bored at home, grab a book off of your shelf and travel to a faraway world with Oliver, or with Amelia Bedelia, or with tomorrow's book, The Alphapets. You're going to love The Alphapets. All the other classes I taught loved these books. They're long. That's why they liked them, because they, they got to sit and listen for a long time and not do work. Look at how many words are in tomorrow's book. Lots and lots of words on every page. But you can read these kinds of books. Look at the tough words you're reading. I'm so proud of you. And I'll see you in our next story time.